Hey guys, this is Kirk from AcidBite, and today I want to show you how to use LUTs in LumaFusion. LumaFusion uh, works on iOS, so that means you can use that on an iPad or an iPhone. And uh, most of our packs have an iPad version, which means that they've got specially rendered files which are made to be more compatible with iOS. Um, in the case of our LUTs pack, it is just a normal LUTs pack because LumaFusion is actually able to read cube LUTs. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to import those and how to apply them onto your footage in iOS. So here is the folder where I downloaded the Cine LUTs. Uh, you're going to get a zip folder and you just have to click on that and it's going to unpack that right into this folder. So you will see there's a folder for the tutorials and a troubleshooting document and the folder with all of the LUTs in it. And all of our LUTs have been interpreted for all of the different types of camera logs. And we also provided a bunch of utility LUTs to convert from the relevant camera looks to Rec. 709. So. There are two ways to get these LUTs into LumaFusion. Uh, one way is just opening them here in the File Explorer, and they will automatically be imported into LumaFusion if it's the only app that you have that can read LUTs. But I want to show you uh, the second way to do it. So I'm going to go back and open up LumaFusion, and you can see that I already have a project here, and I have two clips, and these two clips were shot on a black magic camera. And I mention that because it means that I know which log profile I need to use. So I'm going to click on one of the clips and go into the clip settings. And, and you can see that at the moment there are no user LUTs imported. Uh, you do have a couple of LUTs here that come with LumaFusion. But you can see that they're not so great. So let's just delete that. And then you want to go down here and click on your files app and this is going to open up the hard drive on your iPad and now I'm in my CineLuts folder the one that we just unzipped a second ago and because I know that I'm working with Blackmagic footage I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to click on select and select all of the LUTs and open so now we can see that all of those LUTs have been imported here as user LUTs. And now I can just go through and see what I like best. Oh, actually, I like this one. Yeah, that's a nice warm look. Uh, so let's go and do that again on the second clip. We'll click it, go into the settings and LUTs. So yeah, guys, uh, I mean, it's that easy. <laughs> There's not much more to explain. Uh, you can blend the LUTs into your footage. Uh, you can combine different LUTs. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to it. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for downloading. And see you next time.